happy knitters and welcome back to my channel so i had a couple of viewers to ask me recently about uh, some organization um, ideas that um, they could use uh, from items that they picked up at the dollar tree so last year or a couple of years ago i did a dollar tree haul um, on some organization and i when i went back to dollar tree they still have a lot of those same things that I had in that first video. So I'm gonna link the video up above for you and also below in the description box. So if you have not seen my first Dollar Tree haul, please go and check that out. But this is just a, a take on, another take on that same video with just a couple more ideas that I came up with for storage ideas for knitters and crocheters crocheters So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is, believe it or not, I'm gonna talk about toothbrush holders okay when we're thinking about um, knitting and crochet organization toothbrush holders do not come into mind but guess what guys if you think about it we as knitters and crocheters we have an abundance of tools right a lot of needles a lot of hooks etc so why not store those needles and hooks in these plastic containers and the great thing about these if you have a label maker you can label these with the size of the the hook the size of the needles that way you'll know by picking these up what you have in each one of them and they're just a great little idea for storing your your needles so i thought that is perfect and it makes it nice and neat and you can store your cords in here if you put them in here just right and then just put the top on them and voila, you have storage for your needles and your hooks. So you can go out, these are, I think you can get a two pack, which, yeah, you can get a two pack of these for a dollar. So if you've got a bunch of uh, needles and hooks, just buy a bunch of these containers. And then that way you can contain them and put them all together in one, one box and you just kind of dig through them because each of them will be labeled with the size. So how cool is that? So that was one of the ideas that I came up with while shopping in the Dollar Tree. The next idea I came up with is for the knitter or the crocheter who is a big planner. They plan out their projects ahead of time and that way um, they're very organized like that. I personally am kind of a go by the seat of your pants girl, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there that like to plan your projects. So I found these neat little pocket folders. What I like about these is that it's got a zipped compartment and it also has pockets for you. So if you are inclined to do so, you can put your knitting needles or your crochet needles in the, the zip zipper part of the pouch and then you can also put any project keepers or progress keepers or anything any trinkets inside here and then if you have a pattern you can actually keep that pattern in here so you have everything that you need for your project all in one and stored in one so you can buy several of these if you are a planner and you can have all of your projects ready to go based on how you want to execute those and I just love that idea um, as something that I might actually incorporate in my life. I don't know yet, but I like the idea of having to, of knowing what uh, patterns I have coming up next. And that way you don't have to look for your needles when you have a project. You already have them set in, in, in each folder and you have your pattern also set in each folder. And so you can keep these in a file folder or whatever, however you like to keep those. They have these um, nice little baskets also at Dollar Tree where you can store them upright in here if you like, and that way you can just thumb through them. So however you would like to store these, um, I think that's a great idea to do that. Um, also, Dollar Tree has these great little snack size bags, right? So if you have a bunch of different um, interchangeable cords and systems and things of that nature, you can take a bunch of these bags, put a set of cords in them, and then you can take a, some labels that I also got at the Dollar Tree, and you can label each one of these baggies with the size of the cord, 
what system it goes with, whether it's Chiaogu, nitpicks, etc. And that way you can have a baggie for each of your interchangeable needles. Now, depending upon you crocheters, depending upon uh, the size of your crochet hooks, you can also do that for these as well. So I like this idea of putting your interchangeable cords in here, labeling them, and you can also still use this same bucket or canvas bag here, which I like because it's, it's a soft shell and it's not very big. And you can throw all of your interchangeable needles in here and maybe label the, um, the tote with, you know, say interchangeable needles or something like that. So I think that's a great idea. And these bags are just the right size for your interchangeable set. So that's another idea. Um, the next idea I have, which I think is so stinking cute, is a way to store all of your progress keepers, your trinkets, all those little things that we love to buy as knitters and crocheters. And believe it or not, this is a seven day peel reminder box. Now, what's so cool about it is you can, in each individual one of these, they screw off. Now, they don't each, they don't each have a, a lid to them, which is a little disappointing. However, wouldn't it not be cool to store just a bunch of your stitch markers in each one of these and then screw the top back on and have them all in one place? I think that is an ideal situation. You could take this whole entire uh, peel box reminder, throw it in a project bag as you're walking out the door, depending upon what you want to put in each one of these. And like I said, it's just a nice way to store your progress keepers or your little trinkets and things that you use to help you in your everyday life as far as knitting and crocheting. But I thought that was a great idea. And once again, it is the seven day pill reminder. So you guys check that out too as a resource for keeping all of your good things. If you are like me and you don't have a, a ton of space, even though I just recently converted um, my formal living room into my craft area, which I'm going to show you guys as soon as I'm finished with it. Um, if you have a simple chair, I found this also at Dollar Tree and it's called the over the chair storage. What I like about it is that it it has pockets. I don't know if you can see that. It has pockets where you can store each individual item. And I think that's a great idea if you're short on storage space. All you need is a chair. So go out and buy you one of these inexpensive chair storage, uh, over the chair storage packages, and you can store a ton of items in there and it is still out of the way, but at least you know where it is. So they also have these clear containers at Dollar Tree. And what I like about this is that the top comes off, but each compartment is separate. So you can store a ton of things in here. And I like it because it's clear, so you can see whatever you have in there. You can also still label these very clearly. And they are stackable. They have a little bit of a lip on the top. So you can stack each one of them as you go and still be able to see everything that you have in your storage. So also, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this cute storage bag. It's flexible and flimsy. You can store yarn in it. You can store uh, your needles. You can store a ton of things in this. But if you are a type of person that does a lot of color work, how cool would it be to contain your yarns in here and use these holes for each individual color so that way you will avoid tangles with your colors if you're doing um, two color socks or shawls or things of that nature you can keep them in here all your different balls of yarn in here and then just sit it on the floor and use these holes as guides to keep your yarn separated i thought this was a great idea like i said it doesn't take up a lot of room but it's just big enough that it has the ability to to serve its purpose so you can store a ton of stuff in here um, the possibilities are endless so i think that that is all that i had to show you today it was just a little snippet of some things that i found at the dollar tree so you guys go out to the dollar tree 
and look and just use your imagination a little bit and you will be able to find some inexpensive storage ideas for all of your crafty goodness like I did. And what I want to do is all of the products that you saw in this video, I would like to give those away to one lucky viewer. Um, if the only stipulation that you have to, ha that I am having is you have to be a subscriber of the podcast. And if you would just leave a comment below, whatever you, any storage ideas or tips that you have or what you liked or disliked about the video, let me know and I will enter you into the contest and I will draw a winner um, probably a week from now. And then that way I will be able to, to send you all the things that you saw here in this video. So if you guys loved seeing this content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would appreciate it. It helps my videos get out there and helps me to, to continue doing what I love to do. Okay, thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.